Cynthia, and I welcome you to the Disabled Diva blog. My life has been a roller coaster of health battles. I have been living with chronic pain caused by fibromyalgia, psoriatic arthritis, psoriasis, and endometriosis for over 20 years now. Through my blog, I made it my mission to empower fellow chronic illness patients and hopefully be a beacon of hope and understanding. I believe that together we can face any challenge that life throws our way. My experiences taught me the importance of empathy and education. That's why I strive to provide valuable resources and insights to patients and their loved ones so they don't have to face their journey alone. I foster support and camaraderie as a community leader for two Facebook support groups. I am also active on various social media platforms. Links are provided in the description of this video. Thanks for joining me on this incredible adventure. Now on to today's video. The following questions and answers are in response to my presentation, Navigating the Emotional Roller Coaster, the Grief Cycle and Psoriatic Arthritis. After listening to my responses, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Need more time to process what you've learned about the grief cycle and its relation to life with psoriatic arthritis? No problem. My downloadable workbook can help you. Download your copy today. And if you've missed the original presentation, the link for that is also provided in the description. Reflect on your initial emotional response when receiving a psoriatic arthritis diagnosis. How did you cope with the feelings of shock, denial, or fear? And how, how have those emotions evolved over time? So when I received my psoriatic arthritis diagnosis, my initial emotional response was one of shock. I had never heard of psoriatic arthritis before, and the news came as a complete surprise. After leaving the doctor's office, fear began to creep in, though, because I turned to the Internet to learn more about the condition. Reading about the struggles and pain that other patients faced with psoriatic arthritis filled me, filled me with anxiety and worry about what the future might hold for me. Despite having read numerous patient stories about psoriatic arthritis, I found myself living in denial. Part of me clung to the hope that my life wouldn't have to change significantly and that the diagnosis might somehow be a mistake. It was challenging to accept the reality of the condition and the potential impact that it could have on my life. As time passed, my emotions evolved. Gradually, I started to face the reality of living with psori psoriatic arthritis, and I acknowledged the challenges that it presented. With the support of loved ones and healthcare professionals, I began to explore various coping strategies to manage the emotional aspects of psoriatic arthritis. Although fear still arises from time to time, I have learned to navigate it more effectively. Becoming more informed about the condition and self-care practices have empowered me to better manage the emotional toll of psoriatic arthritis. The journey, it's been a, a mix of ups and downs, and I've come to realize that it's okay to experience a range of emotions. Embracing this truth has allowed me to be, well, more compassionate with myself throughout the process. Connecting with patient communities has also been a source of support and sharing experiences with others who understand what I'm going through has been incredibly valuable in fostering acceptance and emotional healing. While there are still challenging days, I am finding my way toward acceptance and discovering the strength to adapt and thrive despite my PSA diagnosis. Through sharing my experiences, I hope to provide support and inspiration to others facing similar emotions on their journey with psoriatic arthritis. Together, we can find the strength to face the challenges and embrace life with resilience and hope. In the context of psoriatic arthritis, which stage of the grief cycle, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, or acceptance, do you find most challenging to navigate? And how have you worked towards reaching acceptance or managing these emotions effectively? So 
depression is the stage of the grief cycle that I find most challenging to just not to, to navigate. Um, in regards to psoriatic arthritis and all of my chronic conditions, it often takes me a while to recognize that I'm experiencing depression, even though I've been living with PSA for well over 20 years now. Depression can be sneaky and its onset may not be immediately apparent to me. However, over time, I have learned to look for clues and signs of depression. Journaling has been a helpful tool in this regard, and it allows me to reflect on my emotions and thoughts. By consistently journaling, I can identify when I'm entering a dark phase and take proactive steps to manage my emotions effectively. Accepting my psoriatic arthritis diagnosis happened many years ago, but it wasn't until recently that I fully accepted the unpredictability of this autoimmune disease. Coming to terms with the uncertainty that PSA brings has been an ongoing process. I have learned to adapt and, em and embrace a flexible mindset, which helps me cope with the ever-changing nature of the condition. Despite these strides, I still struggle to accept the days that are lost to fatigue. Fatigue can be a particularly challenging aspect of psoriatic arthritis, impacting my ability to engage in daily activities and causing frustration. However, I am continuously working on self-compassion during these times, reminding myself that it's okay to rest and prioritize my well-being. Navigating the emotional cha challenges of depression and acceptance remains a journey for me, but I am committed to growth and resilience. Seeking support from loved ones and participating in patient communities has been essential in this process. By connecting with others who share similar experiences, I find comfort and understanding, helping me to feel less alone on this journey with psoriatic arthritis. While there are days when it's tough to manage emotions effectively, I remain hopeful and determined to find balance and contentment despite the challenges of living with psoriatic arthritis. Each step forward, no matter how small, is a victory, and I am grateful for the lessons and insights gained on this path of acceptance and emotional healing. How has psoriatic arthritis impacted your daily life, relationships, and self-image? Describe the emotional toll of chronic pain and physical limitations and share any strategies you have implemented to address these challenges. Oh my, psoriatic arthritis has had a profound impact on various aspects of my daily life, relationships, and self-image. The pain and inflammation in my hands, feet, knees, hips, and spine have made simple tasks like house cleaning and yard work nearly impossible. The physical limitations caused by the condition were a significant challenge. I found myself unable to perform many tasks that were once routine. In my relationships, particularly with my husband and children, psoriatic arthritis brought about strain as the responsibilities of tasks I could no longer handle fell upon them. Initially, there was some resentment as they struggled to understand the extent of my limitations. However, with time, this resentment transformed into compassion and understanding. They now realize that my reluctance to do certain things, it's not a matter of unwillingness, but rather a result of physical limitations. While my loved ones struggled to adapt emotionally, I also grappled with feelings of being a burden and frustration over how my body seemed to fail me. This internal struggle took a toll on my self-image as I felt a sense of inadequacy due to my physical limitations. Throughout this journey, I have learned valuable lessons. Honesty and open communication with my family have been crucial in fostering understanding and support. Sharing my experiences and feelings has helped them comprehend the challenges I face and in turn, they have become more compassionate and willing to assist when needed. Taking care of myself and prioritizing self-care has also been essential in managing the emotional toll of chronic pain and physical limitations. 
Embracing self-compassion and allowing myself to rest when needed has become a vital aspect of my coping strategy. Despite the challenges, I have come to realize that accepting help and support from my loved ones is not a sign of weakness, but rather an acknowledgement of strength that comes from acknowledging our vulnerabilities. Being honest about my limitations has brought our family closer and fostered a sense of unity and understanding. For others facing similar challenges, my advice would be to communicate openly with your family about your experiences and needs. Allow them to be a part of your journey and educate them about psoriatic arthritis and its impact on your daily life. Remember to take care of yourself and be gentle with yourself during difficult times. Embracing self-compassion and leaning on your support network can make a significant difference in navigating the emotional toll of psoriatic arthritis and living a fulfilling life despite the challenges. Building a support network is crucial in managing emotional challenges. How have you sought support from family, friends, healthcare professionals, or patient communities? How has this support influenced your, your emotional well-being and ability to cope with psoriatic arthritis? This of living with psoriatic arthritis has been a journey of learning and growth. Initially, I struggled with accepting my need for help and faced a fear of being rejected when asking for support. However, I reminded myself that not every rejection stems from an unwillingness to help, but rather from their own limitations at that time. Overcoming these obstacles was crucial in seeking support from family, friends, and patient communities. Having a larger support network has been invaluable in preventing burnout from relying, so, relying solely on a few individuals. While I strive to do as much as I can on my own, I have learned to lean on my family's support to help keep the household running smoothly, especially during times when my physical limitations make almost every task challenging. Patient communities have been a true blessing in my life. The people I have connected with who understand what I'm going through have been nothing short of amazing. Being part of these communities is a powerful reminder that I'm not alone in my journey. Sharing our struggles and triumphs with each other brings a sense of camaraderie and provides an opportunity for mutual learning and growth. On the other hand, my experiences with the medical community have not been as positive. I have faced more medical negligence and gaslighting in the past 30 years than any person should endure in a lifetime. Despite these challenges, the unwavering support of my husband and children is what makes living with psoriatic arthritis, fibromyalgia, psoriasis, and the adhesions from endometriosis and multiple abdominal surgeries possible. Their understanding, empathy, and willingness to stand by my side through the ups and downs have been a constant source of strength and comfort. Knowing that I have their love and support makes facing the challenges of, pro of chronic conditions more manageable. In conclusion, building a support network has been a transformative process that has taught me the importance of reaching out for help and connecting with those who understand my journey. It has positively influenced my emotional well-being and ability to cope with the complexities of psoriatic arthritis and my other conditions. The support of my loved ones is the foundation that allows me to navigate life's challenges with resilience, and I am forever grateful for their unwavering presence in my life. Self-care and stress management play a significant role in emotional healing. What self-care activities have you incorporated into your routine to improve your overall well-being? How do these practices help you manage stress and cultivate a positive mindset on your journey with psoriatic arthritis? In terms of self-care and stress management, I have incorporated various activities into my daily routine to improve my overall well-being while navigating life with psoriatic arthritis. One of the essential self-care practices for me is focusing on my spiritual health through prayer and meditation. Taking time for these practices helps center my mind 
and brings a sense of peace and calmness amidst the challenges of chronic pain and inflammation. I also considered my acceptance of help in the form of an antidepressant when I found myself feeling helpless and worthless as a form of self-care. Addressing pain promptly is another crucial aspect of my self-care routine. I have learned to pay, to pay close attention to the onset of pain and take action sooner rather than later. By doing so, I can prevent constant pains related to PSA from escalating to an unbearable level. This includes pacing myself, recognizing my physical limits, and incorporating ample rest into my routine regardless of how much I may want to deny my limitations. Changing my perspective on rest days has been transformative for me. Instead of getting frustrated or angry at the need for bed rest, I now view these days as a necessity for my body's recovery, similar to how one would recover from a car accident or a recoverable injury. Acceptance has led to a more positive mindset. To make these days more enjoyable, I have created a streaming queue filled with shows and movies to look forward to, making the, rest, the resting periods a little bit of a more pleasant experience. Setting boundaries that align with my chronic life has been crucial in managing stress and finding balance. Accepting that my life may not look the way it used to has allowed me to carve out a lifestyle that works best for me and my family. This means adjusting activities, schedules, and commitments to accommodate my physical needs and limitations. Embracing these self-care activities and stress management techniques has significantly contributed to my emotional healing on this journey with psoriatic arthritis. They have helped me cultivate a more positive mindset and provided me with the tools to face challenges with greater resilience and determination. By nurturing my physical, mental, and spiritual well-being, I am better equipped to navigate the complexities of living with psoriatic arthritis and to find joy and fulfillment in each day, no matter, no matter the challenges that arise. Now it is your turn. I understand that these questions are of a personal nature, and it could bring up a lot of unresolved issues. I invite you to share your responses in the comments but only if you feel comfortable doing so. Need help working through the grief process? Download my Navigating the Emotional Roller Coaster, the Grief Cycle, and Psoriatic Arthritis Workbook today. Use it on your own or include it in your therapy appointments. Remember that the grief cycle is it's never ending when living with a chronic illness. There will always be a new limitation, pain, symptom, or problem that will alter your alter your life as you know it. Until next time, this is Cynthia, the Disabled Diva, reminding you that you are not alone.